Hey guys, I'm Sarah Rose, and in today's video, I'm going to paint one of the Outfit August drawing prompts. Now, if you're wondering what hashtag Outfit August is, so am I. I first saw this challenge on Instagram. An artist I follow called Hammerings posted their day one drawing with the prompts attached. The premise of the challenge is to draw one of your original characters in different outfits every day for the month of August. I have no idea, I have no idea who started this challenge. It isn't listed on the challenge sheet, so let's go search. Alright, so first we type in Outfit August. What you'll find is not, per, not art per se, but outfit inspiration for the month of August. Actually, if you scroll far enough on Instagram, that's what you'll find under the hashtag too. So let's look a little deeper, friends. Outfit August art should give us some answers. No. Still clothes with a little art sprinkled in. Well then, I'll cut to the chase and ask who started this. All clothes. Still. Alright then, brothers. Um, we don't have answers here. If anybody knows who started this tag, uh, please leave it in the comments below. I would like to give credit to the original creator. But without further ado, let us get into the day number two look for my character, who I just created for hashtag outfit August. The prompt for day two was to draw a knight in armor, so that's what I did. I originally sketched this drawing in my Canson XL uh, mixed media sketchbook, and then I am using transfer paper to move that over to some Strathmore watercolor paper that my sister got for my birthday. Uh, she also got me the brush bath that I'm using in this video, so thanks, Erica. They're nice. Um, yeah, my birthday was in July. Stick around to the end of the video. You might see some birthday highlights. Um, yeah, see those. Anyways, I am uh, transferring this drawing over, and then for the painting today, I'm using my Reeves Custom Palette, which is linked in the description box below. See now, if you look up how to use transfer paper, uh, or tracing paper, I think this is tracing paper actually, I'm transferring my drawing with tracing paper, um, they'll just tell you to scribble right over it, but I'm not trying to waste my pencils like that, so you see that I'm just outlining the uh, what, what I know is already there on the paper, and that should be enough pressure to get the graphite from this outline onto this page. Guys, to be honest, I probably won't continue this challenge. One, because my uh, character is non-developed. Like I said earlier, I just created her for Outfit August because I was like, oh, I want to draw outfits. Um, I could still use the prompts for random characters, but um, the other reason is I have to go back to school soon in like two weeks or something. So I don't know if I want to invest a lot into a challenge and then be like, well, that challenge is over. I'm done. Although, um, I could use the prompts as inspiration uh, to step out of my comfort zone. You know, just keep trying new things with my art to get better as an artist. But yeah, if you're... Tell me below if you're gonna do this challenge or try to catch up with this challenge. The date of this voiceover is the 14th, so you're 14 days behind if this is the first you're hearing about it.
this design, I was not necessarily, so I don't really know that much about knights and stuff, so there wasn't a specific time period or like, you know, sort of design element that I could say is real that I was trying to go for, but I do <laughs> really like the weird shoulder thing. I like whenever um, knights are drawn with like one giant shoulder thing, so I did that for her. In the future, I may redesign this character. I actually kind of, I think the character is pretty, and I think this knight outfit is cool. I believe that I could design it better, and I spent more time on it, and so I got, you know, more invested in this design. Recently, I haven't really liked putting or using a lot of colored pencil in my watercolor drawings because I just want it to be watercolor only but you know they complement each other well they're two mediums that work together very well and you know I thought because her face is small in this I needed to be able to get detail in so I spent you know my time picking out some colored pencils it didn't really take me that long <laughs> okay oh and this gold crown this gave me some trouble, guys. I wanted an intricate crown, but it's so small, I was like, I'm not spending time on this crown right now, and I didn't, I was like, should I try working on how to paint this to make it look like gold, or should I just use my jelly roll gold pen? But then, the pen was clogged, so I had to break it open. Not break it, just like, open it. And so I opened it up and used a small detail brush to paint it on. It wasn't really that much of a struggle. Okay, so this is how she turned out. I think this ended up looking way cooler than what I thought and like better than how I thought I could make it look. So I'm happily surprised and don't forget guys, all of my supplies are listed in the description box along with my social media, my Patreon, my Ko-Fi, and you know, the music that I used and whatever else. So... Yes, thank you guys for watching this video. Be safe out there, brothers. Bye.